Okay, so when you're ready, we are just going to start lying down, Stacey, so you can take yourself down towards your mat. Um, as you come down, if you'd like to, you can, you can take the soles of your feet, not the soles of your feet together, your feet wide and your knees dropping in today, but again, if that doesn't feel like the right thing for you, then please feel free to lie in any other comfortable position. So when you're ready, we'll just begin the practice just by taking a deep inhale. So just start to fill as if you could fill up with as much air as you can. And then exhaling everything out. Do that once more, so just deeply inhale. And then just letting it all go. At the end of the exhale, just closing your lips, beginning to breathe in and out through your nose. And just allowing your breath just to move into its own natural rhythm. Taking our time, just driving on the map. Beginning to draw our attention inwards. As your breath starts to smooth out, just beginning to notice your body here and just how it's feeling this morning. You can make any adjustments or moves, and please do. And then just observing any tightness that you might feel. See if you can let that go a little. So our practice today is in stability and ease. I'm really just trying to cultivate these two kind of opposing principles within each asana that we take. So being strong and stable, but also have a sense of relaxation and ease within the posture. And we'll do this practice today by moving through different elements and then holding them still. And that moving helps us to Really try and prepare the body for the asana, and then the holding helps us gain flexibility while we're in it. So we're just going to start to move. So if you've got your feet wide, if you bring your feet in, so they're about hip distance, and the heels quite close towards your hips. So if you have your hands by your side, you can kind of walk your heels back so that your fingertips, perhaps it might graze the heels, just see how that goes. Really depends on the length of your arms. Try and lengthen your spine a little bit. Um, we're going to take a little moving bridge here. So when you're ready, as you inhale, we're going to press the lower back down so that the pubic bone tilts a little. And then we're going to start to just peel our back up off the ground. So just taking our time, moving up one vertebrae at a time. And to wherever it takes you, so you might come to the upper back or your shoulders. And then slowly on the exhale, start to press down. So from the top of your spine, all the way down to your hips. So start to move with your own breath. So inhale, start to push the lower back down and lift up. And on the exhale, slowly release. If you like to, you can add some arms here. So you inhale, stretching the arms so you lift up off the ground. And then as you lift up, through the hips, you're lifting the arms up and over. You might bring your hands so they touch the mat behind you. And then on the exhale, just slowly releasing your arms all the way down as you lower down. And then again, keep moving through that. So just inhaling and exhaling. And we're just moving up and down through the spine, just warming it up a little bit.
Now, the next time you move up to the top of your bridge, we're just going to hold the bridge. If you come up this time, and again, you have to take your arms all the way over if it feels too much. You can either have them up so towards the ceiling with the pans facing in, or if you prefer to have the arms down, then take them down. Start to feel that engagement through your glutes a little bit. So you need to squeeze them. Feel that the legs are starting to work a little bit more. So maybe join the inner thighs towards one another. And try and keep your breath stable and easy as well. So we don't want the breath to, to become ragged if it becomes too much. So we're trying to focus on that sense of stability and ease. Um, we're going to take one more inhale and then we're going to move back down. So just slowly lower yourself all the way back down towards the mat. As you come in, just draw the knees in towards the chest. As you come in, we'll just maybe move a little bit so you could take it side to side. If you want to circle the hips round, just moving in one direction and then start to go the other way. We're moving back towards the centre. We'll keep the right knee in towards your chest and your left foot just flat onto the ground. So just gonna stretch to the back of your legs here. So if you move your hands to the back of your right thigh and then very gently start to extend your right leg. So you have to fully straighten it. You're just moving it to where it feels right to you. And keep your shoulders relaxed on the ground. Just breathing into the back of that right thigh. And you can definitely just see here, if you want to, you could extend your left leg so along the mat, so it lays down onto the mat. And if you want to move your hands further up the leg, then go past the knee. So try not to go onto the knee, so either below it or above it. So whatever feels right. Now from here, we're gonna to start to come in a little bit through our core. So if you extend your left leg, so it actually lifts up off the ground. And then you can either keep your upper body down here, or as you breathe in, just lift the upper body up off the ground so the chest lifts. So you might be able to move your hands further up then. So take an inhale. As you exhale, just changing legs, so lowering that other leg down. Inhale, and then exhale. Again, just taking your time, moving slowly to start to warm up through the center of your body. You can always bend your knee and you can always lower your upper body down. Keep the breathing nice and steady. And have a certain ease step. And just moving in your own way, aligning your movement in your bed. And the next time you come towards the left leg, you're going to take your hands behind the back of the left leg and fold. And then from there, you could lower your body down again. And if you need to bend your right leg, then bend them. You can always move your hands further down the leg if you'd like. Just work where you can. Relax your shoulders. Release the upper body. Breathing deeply. Okay, let's take one more inhale. And then from there, slowly release. You can bend the knee, maybe drawing your knees back in towards your chest again and take in a little rotation. We're going to do one more little movement and hold here. So we're going to bring your feet flat onto the ground. So it's kind of like a thread the eye of the needle, but we don't use our hands. So we're gonna keep your left foot down, lift your right foot up, flex it, and then place it all over that left thigh. Make sure you flex your right foot a little bit and think about pushing your right knee away a little. When you're ready on an inhale, just lifting your left foot a little bit off the ground. So we're gonna to start to draw the knee in so that left knee draws in. So the arm is just by your side. So take an inhale. And then when you're ready, draw the knee in. So lift your tailbone a little bit. 
and then when we sit back down, but not all the way, so your foot doesn't touch them. So draw the knee in, and we'll release it away. And again, keep pushing away gently to your right knee and flexing your right foot like that. Now we're just drawing it in and release it again, just warming up through the center of our body. Okay. Okay, let's do one more like that. Now hold it in this time. So draw the knee in, hold it in, curl the tailbone, breathe deeply. Okay, from there, slowly release and bring your feet back down and release your feet to the ground. Again, if you want to move your legs a little bit side to side here to release the hips, then you can. Now make your way back into the centre. Let's do that on the other side. So right foot down, left foot lift down, flex it and place it over the top of the thigh. So flex your left foot, push your left knee away and lift your right foot off the ground. So when you're ready, as you inhale, we're going to draw that right knee in a little bit more so we get that sensation of curling the tailbone and then release back down again. Again, just drawing it in, working with your breath, Breathing in and breathing out. Okay, this time we'll just draw in and hold in. So pull the knee in, flex both of your feet maybe. Keep the breath flowing. So again, watch your breath for stability and ease. No holding of the breath. Okay, when you're ready, slowly release. So this time maybe release the legs and draw your knees in. Again, if you want to circle the hips or just move a little bit side to side, changing direction. Okay, so from here, we are going to make our way up. So if you take your hands by the back of your thighs, you can either roll back and forwards a few times or roll over onto your side. Come on. But we'll make our way up when you're ready. And we're going to move to all fours today. And if you're using blocks, just bring the blocks with you and just have them up towards the top of your mat. So as you come in with the hands underneath your shoulders, knees underneath your hips, we're just going to do a few cat cow movements. So on the inhale, just dropping the belly down, starting to peel the chest forwards. And then on the exhale, tuck the tailbone around your back, the chin towards your chest. And then just beginning to move to it. Inhale, and exhale again at your own pace. So the Sanskrit words for stability and ease are stira sukha. And it's really the only reference to our yoga asana and the yoga sutras is that each one of them should be a mixture, a balance of steadiness and ease. Okay, when you're ready, come back in, so towards the middle. Now from here, we're going to start to move through the upper body. So we'll draw the belly in. As you inhale, we're going to reach up with your right arm. So we're just opening up through your chest as you do that. And then on the exhale, that right arm is going to come underneath the left, but we're not going to go all the way to the ground. So you can lower it down, but just we're not touching. We'll do that again. So inhale, start to open up through that right side body. And then on the exhale, keeping the arm under, lower down the arm. Let's do that once more. Inhale to open. And exhale. So you could use your block underneath your head. We're going to lay down onto your right shoulder. So just laying down. So ear to the ground, or maybe grab a block for your head. So your left hand can either just stay where it is on the ground. You could reach it forwards, or you could lift your left arm up. And then bending in the elbow, just take it behind your back. And again, you could take hold of your t-shirt, maybe your hip, maybe you can grab the thigh. Just whatever suits you. Okay, when you're ready, slowly release things. So taking that left hand down. And then press yourself all the way back up. So we're going to work through the right leg this time. We will come back and do that left arm, but still with your belly pulled in, lift your right leg up, and then we're going to circle it round. So we're going to keep it bent. 
and we're just rotating around. And you can make these circles smaller or bigger, it's really up to you. Then you're ready, change direction. So kind of keep the breath flowing as you do this. And then when you're ready, we're going to draw the right knee so in towards your chest and then we'll step the right foot forwards. So as you step your right foot in, just make sure your knee is over your ankle. You can use your hands here, maybe slide your left leg a little bit further back. You could use blocks, but we are going to lift the chest today. So when you're ready, take an inhale, start to lift the chest and then reach up with your arms. Again, if you'd rather keep your hands down on the ground, then you can do that. But maybe the wrists move back a little bit. And again, find that sense of ease in the posture. So that might just mean that you need to bend your elbows a little bit, or maybe you don't lean as far into it. Steadiness and ease. Okay, when you're ready, we're going to release your hands, this down towards the mat. And then from there, we'll tuck the toes under on the left leg. So lifting the left knee up off the ground. Step back, so into a plank position. Lower your knees towards the ground. And then when you're ready, bend your elbows and lower your chest all the way down. As you inhale, we'll lift the chest up. So just a baby cobra. And then using your hands, keep pressing back. So we're going to move into a child's pose here. So just keep pushing back, press the hips back. You can widen your knees or keep the knees together, it's up to you. And then just release into that child's pose. So our whole practice should have the elements of steadiness and ease in them, which means that, you know, we can work strongly, but then we need to rest and let the body just receive all of the kind of energy we've taken. When you're ready, slowly come back up. So just making your way back into so that all fours position. So again, hands underneath the shoulders, knees underneath your hips. So we'll start with the left arm this time, so belly in. So as you inhale, open up so the left leg body opens. And then on the exhale, taking that arm under. It's not going quite all the way down. Start to flow through it. So inhale, open up. And exhale, move up there. So we'll do that once more. So again, just take your time. And then as you come down this time, we'll just start to think about laying down onto that left shoulder. So keep yourself down. Use a block if you need to. Either keep your right hand where it is, stretch it in front, or lift it up and then bend it so it comes by your back. And again, whatever you can. Grab if you want to grab anything, then do that. Okay, let's release that right hand. So use that to press yourself back up again. And then coming in again, we'll use the left leg. So we're going to lift it up, keep it bent, and then start to circle it around. And maybe just compare how it feels with the other side. Change directions, so go the other way. Okay, when you're ready, we'll draw that left knee in, and we're just going to step the left foot forwards just in your own way. Take your time. Use your hands and maybe slide the right leg further back. Try and keep the knee over the ankle on the front leg. So as you inhale, start to lift the chest. And if you feel like it, lift your arms up. Again, finding that spot that feels quite strong, but also soft at the same time. Okay, when you're ready, release your hands down towards the mat. So again, we'll tuck the toes and lift the back knee. And then we'll step back to plank. So as you step back, knees down, and then bend your elbows and lower. Inhale, pull the chest forward, so coming up. And on the exhales, keep pushing. Press yourself back into that child's pose. 
Again, either wide knees or feet, knees together, it's up to you. When you're ready, slowly start to come back up. So just to that all fours position. And from all fours, we're going to come into downward facing dog. So we'll start to tuck the toes and start to press the hips up and back. And again, as you come into down dog, still trying to get that steadiness and ease, that stability. So you might move through it and, you know, moving through it is fine, but we just don't want to always be moving through it. So once you've done your movements and you've found your position, see if you can just find even just a moment of stillness and down dog. Sometimes it's hard to get that sensation of ease in it. You know, maybe you need to bend your knees and keep them bent. Maybe spreading your hands and pushing up and out of your shoulders a little bit more. So all the weight's not on our wrist, but we're trying to direct it up to our hips and down the leg. Okay, let's take one more inhale. So we're going to lift the heels up. We're going to walk up towards the top of your mat. So take your time. A nice slow walk. Separate your feet and fold forwards towards your leg. As you inhale, lengthen forward. So move the hands up the shins. And then exhale, fold back in. So as you inhale, we'll reach up, so rising all the way up. And then on the exhale, we'll just draw the palms together. So just in front of your heart. Be closing the eyes just for a moment. And just being aware that in Tadasana, so in our mountain pose, when we're simply standing, we have that sense of stability and ease. So it's essentially quite a strong move. So it takes us probably. 12 months of our lives to master it. But it is easeful as well. It doesn't feel like we're strained. So today, just maybe trying to bring the feelings into Dasna, into our other standing postures as well, and that same sense of steadiness and ease. Okay. Let's release the hands. You can open your eyes. We are going to do a little bit of balance here, but it's just going to be on two legs. So you'll be fine. So, Either feet together or a little bit apart, bearing in mind you're going to balance. Relax the shoulders down. Uh, we're simply going to lift the arms up first. So make sure you feel steady in your feet. So spread your toes and make sure you feel pretty balanced to begin. So as you inhale, just reaching up with your arms. And on the exhale, bring your hands just down by your sides again. So just sweep them all the way down. And we're going to do that again, but this time maybe lift your heels up. So as you inhale, start to lift up through your heels. Just float yourself up. And on the exhale, slowly release. So still finding that steady gaze as we do that. Let's do that again. So inhale, lifting the heels up, reaching up with your arms, strong ankles. Exhale, slowly release down. Okay, let's do that twice more. So start to move with your own breath. And then as you come up the next time, we're going to hold up. So we're going to come up and then just hold in this balance. Just holding up to the top, breathing deeply. See if you can relax your shoulders a little bit. Again, steady your gaze. Ease out the breath. Let's take one more inhale. When you're ready, slowly release everything all the way back down again. Good. Okay, this time, as you inhale, we're going to reach up again. No heels lifting this time, just reach up. And on the exhale, we're going to fold. So you're going to bend your knees and just fold forwards towards your leg. So again, as you inhale, we're going to come back up. So bend your knees, start to reach up with your arms, so stretching all the way back up again. And on the exhale, folding all the way forward. Bending the knees as much as you need to as you come down. Let's do that twice more. So inhale, push your feet, draw your belly in, reach and rise up. Exhale, fold. Okay, 
Okay, and one more time. So inhale. And exhale. And we'll stay folded forwards on the exhale of time. So you might use one of your blocks. You have your hands on your block. Maybe move your hands up your legs a little bit to support you. Or maybe you can release them. Again, find that stability and ease, that steadiness. So it's ultimately strong, but we probably need to bend our knees a little bit. We're drawing the belly in to support the lower back. So what can you create that's going to give you the ease? So maybe you can soften in your shoulders and your head a little bit. Maybe just bending your knees gives you that ease. Let's take one more inhale. Now when you're ready, we're gonna move the hands up. So just kind of halfway. So lengthen forward through your spine this time. And then as you exhale, with the hands down, we're gonna step back with your right leg. So as you step back with your right leg, you can definitely place your right knee on the ground. So if you'd rather have the knee down, then do that. So if you've got it up or down, we're gonna lift the chest up. So just drawing the belly in and the chest lifts up. Again, the knee, back knee can be on the ground. Just work with what feels right. And relax the shoulders, open up to your chest a little bit. Still finding that steadiness and ease. And it's not just in our postures, it's also in our breath. So we still want to focus on the breath and make sure it is steady and it's, it's Full of ease as well. Okay, now today we're going to do Warrior Three as our balance. If you want to have a little shot of it here, you can. We'll bring the hands towards the centre. And again, there's no necessity to do this next bit. But if you want to push through your front leg and lift your back leg a little bit, you can. You can always pop it back down again. So you'll have to keep it lifted if it doesn't feel right. And then just coming in, maybe just with your leg a little bit lifted. Maybe you can. Straighten the front leg a little bit. So we'll start to focus on your gaze. Good, and come down whenever you need to. Okay, let's see what we're in here. So we are going to step back with that right leg. So just step it back into that high lunge. And then from there, we're just going to step to the top. So you can bend your back leg and then just step up towards the top of your mat. Maybe bringing your feet closer together, your hands closer together. Maybe just close your eyes for a moment. Let's try that on the other side. So just at the top of your mat, release your hands. As you inhale, reaching up. And on the exhale, fold forwards. As you inhale here, lengthen your spine a little bit to move the hands up. And on the exhale, with the hands down, step back with your left leg. Again, your left knee can go down towards the mat if you'd rather not do the balance. And then make sure you feel pretty balanced with your feet. And then lift your chest. So by balance with your feet, that might mean that your feet need to come further apart a little bit in this crescent lunge so that we're not kind of on a, a really narrow plane, but we want to be quite wide. Relax the shoulders, relax the elbows maybe. Maybe your gaze. So bring your hands to the centre. If you do want to try a warrior three here, we're going to try it once more, but if you want to try it here, then just push into your front leg. Maybe you lift your back leg a little bit. Maybe you pop it down. Just finding a moment or two of balance. Breathing deeply. Well done. So we'll reach back with the left leg again. So just reach back so you've got the floor. And then we are just going to step towards the top of your mat. So bending into your back leg, step forwards, feet together, hands together. And you just close the arms. Okay. So we are going to come in and do warrior three again. So if you do want to go to a wall here, you could definitely have your hands against the wall. And then lift your leg up behind you. So if you want to take that option or a chair or something, then you definitely can. So we're going to separate our feet. 
hip distance. You're going to draw your belly in, hands towards your chest. I'm going to stand on your right leg. So if you just bend your right leg a little bit, and then just start to float the left leg back. So again, you can always touch the ground and you just move it to where you want to move it to. So just work with what feels right. Maybe flexing the back foot helps. You can always bend your front leg or keep your front leg straight. And if you do want to add a bit more on here, you could reach back with your arms so they come along your side, or you could reach forward and work with what feels best. Breathing deeply, nice steady, easeful breath. Let's take one more inhale. Now bring your hands towards the center first. We'll start to bend your front leg and lower your back leg so it comes in towards that front leg as controlled as you can. And then hands and feet, maybe bring them back together for a moment. Okay, let's give that a try on the other side. So separate your feet a little bit. Bend more into your left leg, so belly in, hands towards the center, and then the right leg starts to move behind us. Just take your time, focusing where you need to. And moving into any depth. So you don't have to have a predefined position that you want to come into. You just move into it as you feel for it. So hands can stay beside your chest. Maybe you reach back or maybe you reach forward with your hands. But try and keep your hips level. So you don't want the hips to be kind of knocking over towards one side. Okay, just breathing deeply. Nice, steady breath. So to come out of it again, bring your hands towards your chest. And then bending your front leg, slowly lower the back leg in, hands and feet back together. Maybe close the eyes a bit. Okay. So we are going to move in. Um, we're going to try and do some standing postures now. Again, moving and then holding them as we go. So if you want to grab your blocks, you're going to have them up at the top of your mat. Again, if you if you need to use them and they're not Close and it's harder. So grab them and just make sure they're kind of handy. So we are going to do one sun salutation to come in. If you want to avoid that, you could step back with your left leg into warrior one. Otherwise, with me, if you're coming, we're going to start at the top of your mat. So again, find that stasana, that really firm, steady and easeful position. Relax your shoulders. When you're ready, inhale, we'll reach up with the arms and maybe look at your thumb. On the exhale, fold. So lengthen on the inhale, stretch your spine forward. As you exhale, lift the hands down, we'll step back to plank. So you can lower your knees like you did previously or bend your elbows halfway to Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing or cobra. And on the exhale, we'll make our way back. Then we're facing up. So we are going to step our right foot forward. So into warrior one. Then so not too far apart with the legs. Bend your front leg. Put the heel down on the back leg. And rise up into that warrior one position. So maybe just looking up towards your hands if that feels good for you. Maybe keep your hands towards the chest. It's really all about what feels good. So shoulders and hips are forward, we're balanced to our feet, and a nice steady base. Now again, from here we are going to move through this. If you prefer to stay still, please do. But as you inhale, we're going to stretch up with the arms, so stretch through the side of your body. As you exhale, we're going to straighten your front leg, take your hands to your hips, and we're going to move forwards into this pyramid pose. So we'll do that again. So inhale, bending your knee, start to sweep the arms up, come back into warrior one. Exhale, straightening the front leg, hands to hips, lengthen the spine. Let's do that once more. So inhale, bend the knee, sweep the arms up, as if you're kind of moving through water. 
and then exhale, start to move forward. So as you come forward this time, we're going to hold in this bit of minute. So you might just see here, just with your hands and your hips. If you have your blocks, you can have one block either side of your front foot and place your hands onto your block. And if you want to, you can take your hands down towards the ground. But then you just work with what feels right. Watching that right hip, so draw it in a little bit. See if you can get a sensation of squeezing the inner thighs towards one another. And watch your breath. So is it still stable and at ease? Okay, let's take one more inhale. So we're going to move back up so you could bend your front leg again, sweep the arms up, so just into that warrior one position. We'll hold here just for a round of breath, so just breathing in and then breathing out. So we're going to open up to warrior two now. So start to rotate round. So through your left foot, maybe you take it further back. Bend into your right leg. So knee over the ankle and watch it's not coming out. And then just stretch your arms out. So again, feel balance between your feet. And maybe send your gaze along your front hand. Focus your attention. And we are going to move through this again. So if you'd like, turn your palms up. So as if you have kind of heavy weights in your hands here, so the palms are up towards the ceiling. As you inhale, we're going to start to straighten your front leg and lift the arms up, so nice and slowly. As you exhale, rebending the leg, lower the arms slowly again, so they're really heavy. Let's do that again. So inhale, start to lift up, straightening the front leg, and then exhale, slowly bend. Let's do that once more. So inhale, lift. And exhale. And then come back in to warrior two. So you can either keep your hands with the palms up or flip them over, palm down. Along your front hand, we'll not stay here long. Take one more inhale. And then bring your hands towards the center of your chest. Straighten through your right leg and turn your right toes towards the long edge of your mat. So we're coming in for a wide leg. We're not going to come forward full yet, but we're coming in with our wide legs here. Good. And Dorothy's having all sorts of problems today. So she keeps freezing. Okay, so we are going to move over towards the right side. So we'll take an inhale. Your right hand is going to go down and your left arm is just going to stretch up and over. And then come back into the center. So just stretch your arms out again. So let's do that again. So reaching over towards that right side, reach your left arm up and over. It, and then back in towards the center. We're going to do that one more time. So just reaching over towards the side. Stay at the side this time. So with that left arm reaching, your right hand can stay where it is, or you can reach your right arm. So as if you have a, a beach ball, quite a small one, in your hands, so we're keeping the arms so they're not super wide, they're kind of squeezing together into that ball. And breathing deeply. Let's take one more inhale. Now rise all the way back up towards the center. We are going to fold forward here, so take an inhale, and then start to move forward. So you might just release your hands and place them onto your thighs here. Maybe you release down a little bit more. And maybe if you've got your block, you could use your block as well and release down to that. Or maybe your hands release easily down to the ground. But just work with what feels right in that forward fold. So maybe think about, again, getting that sense of stability in knees. Maybe you could bend your knees a little bit. Maybe moving your body weight slightly forwards towards the balls of your feet. Maybe that would work a little bit more. But again, just see how it feels. Okay, let's take one more inhale. I'm gonna rise back up. So bending in your knees a little bit, slowly roll all the way back up towards the top. 
As you come up, we're going to turn the toes of your right foot, so up towards the top edge of your mat again. Rebend your right leg and release your hands towards the ground. As you do that, turn on the toes of your left leg. We are going to move our hands to the inside of your right foot and you're going to lower your left knee towards the mat. So we are coming in for a little lizard lunge here. So if you move your right foot so it moves further out to the right, and if you want to turn your toes out even further, then just pick them up and turn them towards the right side even more. So hands can just be here. You might be able to bend your elbows a little bit. You can use your blocks here. And again, you can build yourself a little structure if you want to. And place your forearms onto the blocks, or maybe you release your arms down towards the ground. But finding that stability and ease within the posture itself. So you should still be able to breathe. The muscles should feel like they can stretch. If they go too far, then there's no way for the muscles to stretch too. They'll just kind of clench a little. Make sure it feels spacious enough. Okay, let's take one more inhale. Then we're going to move back up again. So just start to move up onto your hands. Maybe turning the toes back in. Walk your right foot so it comes towards the center of your hands. And then we are just going to step back with that right leg. So just back towards the left. And then come into a child's pose again. So widen your knees together, perhaps. Sink your hips back. Relax down. Again, you could use a block for your head or cross your arms over. Drop your head down, whatever feels best. So that's stability and ease. So in the yoga sutras, one of the definitions that they give of yoga is the ability to direct our attention exclusively to an object and then maintain that direction without distraction. So when we're sitting there drishti and we're, we're in a, a pose, that's really what we're attempting to do. And even when you're here, so you're not really straining, there's no nothing to do, and that's when our mind starts to wander. We're starting to think about even while we're here, Maintaining your attention on an object exclusively. Maintaining that attention without distraction. Okay. When you're ready, we'll slowly come back up. So coming back up, use your hands and come on to all fours. And as you come in, you might move a little bit. So often it's easier when we're kind of moving to keep our attention on it, but it's in the quieter moments that it's harder and we have to work it harder. So maybe circling the hips in one direction and the other way, any little movement. Okay, let's come back in to our downward facing dog. So we can just spread our hands, tuck the toes and lift the hips and press up and back. Again, you might come into the spine dog, making some movement, and then hopefully finding a little bit of stillness within it. And feeling in that stillness, that stability and ease. So we are going to do the other side. So if you look forward, your left foot is going to step towards the top. So we're coming into warrior one on this side. Spin the heel of the back leg, bend your front leg, and then start to rise up into what you want. Taking your time again, without any strain, find strength in the posture, but that sense of ease as well. And the arms can reach or bring the hands down. And feel balance in your feet. So again, we're not leaning forwards, but we're keeping that balance over our feet. Again, you can choose to stay still in this if 
you want to move with me, as you inhale, we're going to reach up with the arms so you're stretching through the sides of your body. On the exhale, we're going to start to straighten your front leg, release the hand, and lengthen through your spine so we come into that pyramid pose. So we'll do that again. So inhale, bending in the knees, sweeping the arms up. Let's move back into that warrior one. As you exhale, straightening the leg, releasing the hands, lengthen your spine. Let's do that once more. So inhale. And exhale. As you come forwards again, we are going to stay in this pyramid pose. So hands onto your hips. Maybe you grab your blocks again, placing them either side of your foot. Maybe you bring your hands down towards the bank. Draw the left hip in. Draw your belly in, so keeping it strong there and maintaining that sensation of stability. Okay, let's take one more inhale. So we're going to move back up. So we know how to do it. So bend your front leg, sweep the arms up, start to move back into that warrior one. And as we come up, we'll just hold here, just for a full round of breath. So breathing in and breathing out. Let's open up into warrior two now. So take your time just moving around into that warrior two position. Maybe you need to lengthen your stride a little bit. Knee over the ankle on the front leg, chest opening, hips opening, and then directing your attention to an object exclusively and maintaining that attention without distraction. Let's move through this. Again, you could stay still if you like. So turn the palms up. So again, imagine there's something really heavy in your hands here. As you inhale, we're gonna to start to lift the arms up and straighten through your front leg. As you exhale, re-bending the leg, lowering the arms just as slowly as you come down. So do that again, so inhale. Lengthening through the leg, lifting the arms. Exhale to open. Let's do that one more time. So you're in really heavy arms. And then slowly release. So coming back into warrior two, you can keep your palms up or turn your palms down the way. Whatever suits you. But you will start to feel even heavier now. Just one more breath if you can. And bring your palms towards the center of your chest. So straightening through your left leg, we're going to turn the left toes towards the long edge of your mat again. So both sets of feet are facing forward. Stretch your arms out to the side. So we're going to lean over to the left. So take an inhale and then taking that left arm down, reaching up and over with your right arm. And then when you're ready, inhale, come back and towards the center. So let's do that again. So exhale over towards that left side, reaching up and over with your right arm. And then move back towards the center. Okay, let's do that once more. So leaning over towards the left side. Now keeping that right arm reaching, you can keep your left hand where it is or reach forwards as well. So with that left hand, again, as if you've got this beach ball, so we're not letting the arms go super wide, but we're engaging and squeezing the shoulder blades together. Deeply. Now well done. Let's take one more inhale. Start to move back up. So reach up with your arms and then exhale, fold. So again, hands onto your thighs, onto your block or to the floor, and then finding that sense of steadiness and ease. That's Jira Supra. Draw your belly in, support it. Maybe bend your knees a little bit. Relax the head and the neck. Okay, 
Okay, when you're ready, we'll start to move up. So bending into your knees, draw your belly in and roll yourself all the way back up again. So as you come up, we'll turn the left toes so up towards the top edge of your mat. Rebending your left leg, hands towards the ground, turning the toes of your right leg. So we are going to move in for that lizard lunge again. So we'll lower down to your right knee and bring your hands to the inside of your left foot. Start to walk your left foot, so out towards the left edge of your mat, maybe picking the toes up and turning the toes out as well if you want. So either stay here with the hands, bend your elbows a little bit, or again, use your blocks, so bring them underneath and release your forearms down towards your blocks. But just if it feels like it's, it's actually doing me some good. Remember that steadiness and ease, so we don't want to over do it. Okay, let's take one more inhale. So if you've got blocks, you might want to remove them, but come back up onto your hands. Turning the toes of your left foot and maybe walk your left foot so towards the center, so you're between both of your hands. We are going to step back again. So with your left foot, just step back and then taking that child's pose again, widen your knees, feet together, sit back, it's fine. And release yourself down. Okay, from here, we're going to make our way down onto your belly. So if you want to, you can walk your hands back a little bit and then just slide yourself forward. So onto your belly as you come in. Again, I'll let you come down anywhere you want to. So once you reach the ground, we're going to take your hands by your side. So we're going to press the palms down towards the ground. If you bring your feet together, so your big toes touch, and your baby toes, see if you can get them connecting towards the ground as well. So we are just going to lift the upper body here. So use your hands and very gently lift your chest up. If you'd like a little more, reach your hands back so towards your feet. And if you want to lift your legs rather than lifting them, think about stretching them away. So lengthen the toes away and then the legs will lift. And then just start to feel again that Stability in ease, so there shouldn't be any sense of straining. You're still breathing easily. You don't need to strain the head or neck, so maybe even keeping your eyes just looking down towards the mat or close them. Now let's take one more inhale and then slowly release everything down. You can bring your arms around. Lower your head towards your arms. Maybe widen your feet here. So just take them out really wide. Bend your knees and then just gently sway your feet side to side. Okay, when you're ready, we're going to make our way up here. So if you use your hands, just press yourself back. So just into that all fours position. So walking your knees forward, perhaps. And again, maybe sway your hips a little bit. Just any little movement that you like. Now from here, we're going to have a little seat. So you can walk your hands back towards your knees and then a little seat with your legs out to the front. So we're going to sit with our legs forward. You can sit on two sit ones. We're going to come into the little twist here. So we'll keep the right leg straight <clears throat> and bend your left leg. And then your left foot is just going to go over the top of your right. So this might be enough for your twist. And you can use your right hand or arm here. If you want to bend in through your right leg, then just bend it so that it comes to the outside of your left thigh. So we're using the right hand of the right arm. Um, we've got our left fingertips just behind. So 
lifting and lengthening through your spine as you rotate in. Come and you're ready. Slowly release and come back towards the middle. So we're going to do a little bit through our boat pose or navasta. So we're going to bring our feet out front. Sit onto your sit bones and take your hands from the back of your thighs. So draw your shoulders back, belly in, chest forwards. You can either just lift either one foot or both feet up off the ground. So you have to lift them up high. If you can lift them level with your knees, then do that. And if you can straighten your legs, then do that. And the hands can stay where they are, or you can reach the hands out as well. Just breathe in deep place, remember that stability and ease. And let's take one more inhale. And then slowly release. You can give yourself a little hug forward, trending in your back. Okay, let's do our twist on the other side. So straighten your legs out, sit up onto your sit bones, and then bending your right leg in, move it over the top of the left leg. So again, that could be enough. And just use your left hand or arm, draw yourself to the right. If you'd rather bend in through your left leg as well, then do that. And then when you're ready, move round towards the right. So with your hand or arm, right fingertips behind you. Okay, when you're ready, we'll release back towards the centre. Then we're going to do one more boat pose, but we're going to use it to come down onto your mat. So make sure that you're at the bottom of your mat so that you have space. Um, to go back onto. So once more, we'll sit upright, hands sweep by the back of your thighs, and then just come into your boat pose, so whatever that is. So lifting your feet a little bit, or a lot, doesn't matter. And then just holding there, just breathing deep. Okay, let's see one more inhale. We'll not exhaust ourselves because we need to get down. So, to go down, you can take your time and just lower yourself down. But again, if it feels too much, then definitely just come in your own way. So just lowering yourself down, trying to as carefully and slowly as you can. Good. And then release down. So you can draw your knees towards your chest, maybe take a little bit of movement side to side there. Okay, we're going to come in for a little twist here. So if you take your feet flat on the ground again, but really widen them, so you're going to have your feet at either side of your mat here. And then maybe spread your arms wide as well. So take an inhale. We're going to tip the legs just over towards one side, so letting them go over, and back into the centre, and then the other way. So we'll just move side to side. Again, the arms can be wide. Loosen up your hips a little bit. Okay, let's do one more of these. Now, the next time you move to the right side, you're going to hold over at the right side. You might turn your head, look on your left hand. You can also, if you want to, lift your right foot up and place it on top of your left thigh. So that just helps to draw that hip over a little bit more. Let's see how that feels. Okay, slowly release, so widen your feet again, and then to follow it over to the left side. So again, when you get there, we're gonna hold there, and you might lift your left foot up and place it onto your right side, but just if that feels okay. So gaze up towards the ceiling or turning to the right. Okay, when you're ready, slowly release, so come back towards the middle. You can draw your knees in now. And we'll just take any kind of final little movement here. So if you do want to um, put on a jumper or some socks before we move into Shavasana, then please do that. And then we'll just find yourselves back on your mats when you're ready.
It is finding a comfortable position when you're ready. And then just beginning to be aware of your breath. Allowing your breath to become deeper and fuller. As you begin to deepen your breath, start to feel the energy flowing down through your body, from your head down to your toes, and back into the universe. Feel with every breath more and more energy cascading down through your head, your shoulders down to your chest, down through the stomach, calming and soothing all organs. Feel yourself relax. Feel the tension in your muscles releasing. Feel the skin of your scalp relaxing, the jaws relaxing. Let your tongue fall away from the roof of your mouth. Your shoulders drop down. The muscles in your back, your upper back, mid back and lower back. All relaxed. Find yourself soothing down all muscles, focusing just on your breathing. If thoughts come in, just let them pass. Don't stop to talk to them, just observe them and let them go. If you find yourself more relaxed, allow your breathing to become deeper and deeper until you feel at one with the universe. That rhythm that makes your heart beat, the blood flow through your veins, your eyes sparkle and your hair grow. Just be that being that you call yourself. It's important to remember to be at one with your being. You're often so busy doing other things that we forget just to be. When you're ready, we'll take a deep inhale. So just do your nose and then just sighing it out your mouth. You can do that again if you like. And then just starting to move when you're ready. So through your fingers and your toes. And you're reaching your arms overhead, so taking a full stretch all the way to your feet. And as you bring your arms over, and to bend the knees and just moving a little bit, or a lot. If you like to roll over onto your side, you can do that. And then we'll just start to come up. So just when you're ready, just make your way up to the 
we'll find a comfortable seat. We'll bring the palms together. So just in front of your heart, leaving a little gap just to signify an openness in your heart. Thank you so much for coming along and practicing with me this morning. Hope you enjoyed this stability and ease practice that we did. Namaste. Thank you very much, ladies. I'll stop the recording and then you can unmute yourself.